So, as you come around the corner, you see this perfect little cove for your swimming pool. And then, look at these guys, this is one of my favourite things. <laughs> We've actually got bears. Have a, little, have a little row in your boat. Hey guys, welcome back to the Map and Summer YouTube channel. Today, Tom and I are gonna be showing you around this eight million pound home listed with Oliver James. Now we are in Totteridge in London, so I'm gonna pop a map up on the screen so you guys can see whereabouts we are. The property is six bed, six bath, and it's just over 7,000 square feet. It also has these absolutely insane gardens, which has a swimming pool, it's got a tennis court, and it's even got its own pond with a boat on it. So we're gonna show you that in a bit. We're really excited, but for now, we're gonna head to the front of the property and show you the exterior. So let's go. We are now outside the front of the property, and as you can see, we have a nice lateral house. So it's not that tall, but it's still wide. It's still huge. And we've got the nice red brick, and it goes really well with the black panels on like the windows and the door and stuff. And I love how the plants climb up the side of the house. Yeah. So it really wraps around. It's Definitely. like a very natural feel. We're surrounded yeah. by all the trees here, so. Exactly. Yeah, now coming on over here, we have this nice gravelly driveway, which at the moment's got four cars on it, so nice and spacious. We have a double car garage as well, with a nice little kind of shelter above it, so it's nice. There's also side access to the garden through that way and also the other side. But as well as all this space here, we have loads of lawn space. We also have two giraffes, which kind of look life-size, to be honest. And then we've coming onto this masses of lawn space, which is so nice to have in your front garden. Yeah. And I think especially because we have this very well placed bench yeah. that looks out onto the pond, which isn't even like part of the property. It's just a yeah, great, nice... great view from the front of your house. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And yeah, we've also got a cool magnolia tree. Yeah. But Tom, should we make our way to the front entrance? Let's do it. I'll oh. meet you there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Coming on into the property, we have a dolphin door handle, by the way. That's pretty cool. I know, it's quite quirky. Yeah. Um, straight away, we've got an ensuite to my left. And we've got this kind of like beam that comes across here, which yeah. kind of separates the area a bit. And you might have noticed, we have all these mirrored panels along, yeah. which makes it so much like it's super spacious. bright, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Even though it's tinted, it's yeah. very nice. We also have this cool little yeah. addition. So it's like, a shoe chair, yeah. it's a heel. So you know yeah. when you put your shoes on and you're gonna be sat on a you're shoe You're gonna be chair. sat on a shoe, putting your shoe on. Yeah. Nice. Exactly. And <laughs> um, we've got this nice dark wooden flooring going along. We're gonna yeah. come through here. You may have noticed my friend yeah, Butler let's, Bob. <laughs> let's not ignore Bob. This is Butler Bob. He looks like he's straight out of Madame Tussauds. I will take that, thank you Bob. He gave us a right fright this morning. He did. He's very realistic. He's very realistic. If you wanna see any uh, behind the scenes action, head to Matt and Summer Official on Instagram and you can see us messing around with Butler Bob. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> right, I'll give you that yeah, back, Bob. Thank you. <laughs> cheers, Bob. Right, I'm gonna head on down here. So we have this sunken lounge space, which I think is so cool. It makes it feel super cozy. We've got a massive fireplace and we've also got one of those old fashioned TVs, Tom. We've the bubble TVs. The bubble TVs. Yeah. Fully working, may I add. Yeah. So I think that's so cool and I just love it. It reminds me of like a fire pit, you know, yeah, I mean? like right, outside. Yeah. yeah, it's cool how that's sunken down there. Definitely. And it's got a nice little bit of carpet as well. So it separates it from the rest of the room. We've also got a step down here to these by folding doors out to the garden. I'm gonna yeah. show you that in a bit, so stay Yeah, that tuned. garden's insane, guys. Oh I can't God. wait to show you that. We are literally so excited about it. We've also got the dual aspect windows. Don't know if you yeah. realize, but the fact that we've got them on both sides is great. You've got much more of a panoramic view. Definitely, and more light, which is great. So right, now coming on here, we have a conservatory room, which is really cool at the moment. It's got the black theme with this really cool ceiling. It's kind of like gothic style. Yeah, it's, it's like a jungle say. in there. Yeah, it's like a botanical garden in here. It's cool. And it's hot enough to be one as well, yeah. <laughs> as you can imagine. So that's a really cool little feature. But coming on out, follow me, Tom. Bye, Bob. All right, mate. <laughs> coming on in here, I love this, like... Yeah, the know? exposed brick. Yeah, it's really cool, but it's like broken brick. Which yeah, yeah. Look that so much more cooler. We've got a fireplace here, and then also when we come into the snug, we've got another fireplace. But this room, so cool. It's like a little cozy room. It's got a library. 
and everything. Yeah. So and those doors actually pull across, like bifold doors. We've yeah. got suede on the other side, <gasps> so it feels very soft in there. It's very relaxing. Oh yeah, it does. Room. Yeah, it is, isn't it? And it I reflects, so. so that when they are closed, it kind of feels like this room is even bigger. Yeah, that's such a good point to make, actually. Yeah. yeah. Right now, I'm going to come on into the kitchen. Now, as you can see, I fate say this is very like villa style with yes. the earth tones, looking very nice. My the worktops in here are my favourite. Yeah, they're so cool, cool with the, like the exposed stone yeah, on the it's edges. Like raw, it's yeah. not been cut properly, but it looks so good. We've yeah. got all the you know classic, got the massive fridge freezer, we've got the huge induction hob oven and that there. We've got the nice exposed wooden beams above us as well. And over here we have this nice little like dine diner area. Yeah. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, with so, that tinted mirror as well. Exactly, yeah, definitely. This room clean. feels almost twice the length because of that mirror. Yeah, I think it's good because, you know, in a kitchen you want it to feel massive yeah. and airy and that really contributes to that. For sure. Now coming off of these nice stone tiles back onto the wood, yeah. we have this dining space which is quite a unique dining table I must say. Usually you don't see them square, they're usually rectangular, yeah. but yeah can fit a lot of people on here. We've got a nice Definitely. desk behind you and we've got the exposed beams above again, along with the exposed brick yeah. too. Now, apologies if it's a little bit dark in here, guys. Yes. It is a cinema room it's after all. It is a cinema all. room. So we have all the black furnishing. We have like the kind of suede, velvety yeah. walls and ceiling, yeah. dark carpet and all the chairs. So it really brings to life that cinema feel. Yeah. We've got the massive projector there, which yeah. pulls down on the screen in front of me. So yeah very effective cinema room yeah I say. super comfy we've got the marble black marble theme in here very black and white yes very right coming on in here now so we have this office space here which also turns into this awesome games room now Crazy. look at the size of this it's massive isn't it huh? absolutely huge you don't realize do you when you if you go into like a normal pub or see someone's like snooker table pool yeah. table it's, it's tiny but a full-sized Snooker table is massive. I didn't know this was full size. I didn't yeah. know I got this big, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> so then coming over here, we have a nice couch space for you to watch and listen play. It's also lit up, which I think is really good. Yeah. And then we also have a little bar area here. So Perfect bar. Can you imagine cool. coming in here with all your mates, all your boys, all your girls, whatever. Yeah. You've got this like games room and you can come in. You've got exactly. a bar there. You can all sit and chill and then it so, leads out to the garden yeah. too. Such a host house. We're outside now in the grounds of the property. We've got an insane garden here, but first let's start with a terrace. So we come out immediately and we've got this like kitchen setup, great for barbecuing out in the summer. The views from this terrace are insane as well, by the way. We've also got another seating area so that when your food's done, you can sit and dine there. And then, yeah, this huge sort of gray decking area. I really like how these palm trees come out of the ground. A, to have a palm tree in England, it's pretty cool, right? Yeah. But but yeah, just the way they come out of the floor looks really cool. It's almost like they're wild. And then we've got some pretty crazy coloured seats here. Very green. I know. <laughs> yeah. In but the sun, a they're great like, wow. spot to sit and enjoy the garden and all the greenery. I think the green actually works because so many of these plants match the colours in the sun. Yeah. Looks I great. Agree. And then we walk all the way down to the other end where we've got a nice little seating area, another dining space maybe. And we've actually well. got access from so many rooms in this property. We've got the bifold doors from the, the living room that we saw. We've got the doors out the entrance by the dining room next to the kitchen. And then we've also got where I came out of by the games room, so it's pretty cool. So it slopes off down here and we're now outside where that conservatory leads out to. Yeah. And we've got all these grounds. So let's just keep exploring because <laughs> it's a lot to cover. I know. It's a pretty cool ornament, should I sit? Yeah, as long as you get your trousers dirty. Oh yeah. Is that nice? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Felt like Yoda in that. <laughs> okay, so coming on into this big garden space, obviously we've got this huge lawn now. The gardener of this place has done an incredible job. Yeah. So shout out to Ozzy. Yeah, it's always so <laughs> Keeping it well fresh. Kept. It's an absolute grind. <laughs> and then look at these guys. This is one of my favorite things. <laughs> we've actually got bears. Yeah. So I'm not 100% sure what they're made out of. Maybe it's artificial grass, probably. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but they're pretty cool, aren't they, right? They are really cool. <laughs> Just sit, sit there and fit quite nicely. We've got quite a few sculptures around. We've also got a, a huge gardener's spade over to my right. Oh, yeah. And falling down here. <laughs> Should we go and explore? Let's go. Yeah. I'm so excited. Okay, so as you come around the corner, 
see this perfect little cove for your swimming pool. It's a very, very private space. We've got all the hedges all the way around us. And yeah, you're just not overlooked really at all. We've got a jacuzzi space and we've got this massive pool as well. And if you're eagle-eyed, you'll realize that the, uh, the badge oh, on, yeah. the, on the bottom is the, the Arsenal Gunners logo. Oh, wow. We've also got like a little, seems like a little beach house here. Super equipped little room. Yeah, it's got a sink in there and everything. Yeah, exactly. And then we've got like a seating area underneath that thatched roof over there. It just fits really nicely with all of this. We've got plenty more to get for you guys, so follow me and we'll keep showing you around this garden because the grounds here are huge. We've got more seating areas here. Aww. Nice little tucked in cove there. It's really well landscaped. I was about to say, I love how steg, like separate it all is. There's like little areas. Yeah, there's everything. so many different spots. You could like all chill in a different place. So yeah, yeah we've got this nice walkway here, but we're gonna head to your guys left and show you this tennis court. <laughs> oh yeah. So we've got the tennis court here. It's just such a nice spot, right at the bottom of the garden, really private. God, imagine just coming down here, playing a little game of tennis. Yeah. It'd be the life, wouldn't it? It's even got the massive lights. Yeah, you're not limited to the daytime hours of tennis. <laughs> And then we've got this pond here, and we've even got a little boat. Go on, get in it. I should get in, right? Might as well keep rolling here, Jazz, in case I fall in. Yeah. <gasps> I thought I was a goner. I thought you were as well. So, yeah. If you want to come down to the bottom of your garden and enjoy the grounds, you can come and have a little, have a little row in your boat. Yeah, and there's even ducks around here. Yeah. I might, I might not come back. All right. See you later. Okay, bye. Two hours later. <laughs> okay, I'm out of the boat. That was... that was an adventure. It was. Sorry, let's carry on with these, these grounds then. Oh. We're going to follow along. We're going to cross over this bridge and go to the other side of the river that kind of like divides down the garden. Yeah, it's cool. Imagine being like a kid here. This would be your yeah. oasis. Yeah, like hide and seek yeah. down here. Yeah, just chilling out. This would be a great place for like a painter. A lot yeah. of inspiration here. It's a lovely garden. Oh my gosh, Tom, look. Look how big this guy is. Oh. Hello, mate. Do you know what? He looks even bigger on camera. Yeah, well, he looks pretty big in real life. Looks loads. And we've got a bunch more carp in here too. It's a nice little river comes into this pond just looks so cool like I love I how this house has so many different spots we've got tennis courts swimming pool and then you come here and it's like you're Indeed. in a nature reserve yeah it's insane it's like a whole botanical garden in your back garden literally <laughs> we've got huge amounts of trees here got like a mill here too that's really cute I love yeah. that that's good vibes sitting sitting here next to your pond looking at all the fish with that in the background it's yeah, good time to relax definitely. right with all the birds too you really immersed in nature. So now we're gonna go up this path. Ooh. God, I love exploring this place. <laughs> and so yeah, we've got this stone path now, which leads us back to the lawn, but we've got more seating areas and this is a way to access the side of the property. It goes all the way down from the front. Yeah. And here we are, back in this main part of the garden. So it's absolutely huge, tons and tons of space like you've just seen. And the house looks incredible from the garden as well. Now we've come upstairs and immediately we have this very large landing. We've got the dark wood shutters there as well, which brings, well, the shutters don't, but the yeah. windows bring so much light in. You guys are probably noticing this spiral staircase as well. That does go up to one of the bedrooms. We're going to show you that in just a second, so stay tuned. Yeah, it's exciting up there, but first we're going to head into the principal bedroom at the end here. Okay, so we'll follow you through. Wow. Yeah. This room is incredible. Yeah. There's so much light in here, Tom. We've yeah, got all the these, exposed beams. Yeah, we've got these sliding doors out to a balcony, which is huge. We've got all the skylights above, yeah. which really reflect off like the white carpet, the white wardrobe, everything. This bed. It's huge. Yeah, that is massive, right? Isn't it? We've got the projector that comes out as well. We yeah. can 
bring that down so you can watch TV from your bed. Okay, or watch really cool. Cinema type TV from yeah. your bed. Yeah, I love the exposed like brick as well. Well, yeah. painted white. Exposed brick, exposed beams. It's a very beachy theme with yeah. like, all of the sort of whitewashed wood. Exactly. Yeah, it looks well good. Very nice. And then through here we have the ensuite, which is once again incredible. How cool is this? Gone for a very villa theme. We've yes. got the same wardrobe style doors. The wood, oh, I love white, like the whitewash yeah. wood looks so beachy. And I've also got this shower, which is really cool because the floor kind of oh, yeah. caves. So yeah. I'm just yeah. walking down a hill, <laughs> which is really good. And yeah, we've got some nice windows out and another skylight. Yeah. I like how there's no door, there's no proper divide. You've just kind of got these wardrobes here. Yeah. yeah, and you've got sinks either side too. Exactly. Feels very airy and open in here. Yeah, it does. Do you want to pop out onto the balcony? Should yeah, so I'll follow you out there. Go on, show us. It's huge and it's the even The views from stone. here are going to be great. Oh, wow. Wow. Goes further than that, by oh, the way. Oh, yeah. There's so All many the way. hidden little gems. Yes. Right. Okay, cool. Which one are you going to show us next, Jess? Oh, I don't know. Where should I take you? Left or right? Left or right? To the oh, right. Oh, nice. So in here, we have a, another decent sized bedroom being used as a nursery. Got very nice soft carpets throughout. And yeah, I like the spotlights in the Yeah, there's actually an ensuite in there too, which is good. And there is an ensuite. Right now, coming across the hallway, we have another similar sized room. This one has a crazy headboard actually lit up. Yeah. It's quite cool. Got massive windows out to the garden as well. And then it also has an ensuite. But this ensuite, actually, yeah. I think you should see. It has a carpet, but the bath is like one of those huge corner baths. Yes. That looks really cool, I yeah. think. And another With a nice great view out as well. Too, fancy so. curtain as yeah. well. Right, now coming on out here, we are going to take you up the spiral staircase, but we're going to meet you up there because um, it's a bit scary to Yes, go there is a master bedroom behind Jazz. Yes, there is. Um, what could be used as a master bedroom, but there's some work being done at the moment. So we'll try and find some photos to put up what it did look like. But yeah, so we're going to head up now. Coming on up here, we have the bedroom at the top of the house, which is immediately really cool. We've got the wooden panelling all over. Getting like a beach hut vibe. Literally is, yeah, Love so it. cool up here. Yeah, we even got these like skylights here on the side. Yeah. And you can just, you know, take a seat. So it'd be such a perfect room for like a teenager, but Definitely. it's self-contained, isolated. Yeah. You can come up for your little spiral staircase and no one exactly. will follow you up. <laughs> so we've got some storage space in here as well as where Tom was. Yeah. And then we have a nice little ensuite too with a shower, massive sink. Yeah. So it's very well equipped, I yes. must say. So, that's about it for the grounds and the property, but we're not completely done yet. We're gonna head off into the local area and show you guys what it has to offer. So we'll see you out there. So you now join us in Totteridge Common, guys. We've got views across towards London and all this incredible green space. I can imagine this being a great place to come and walk a dog. If we go in the other direction, just a five minute drive, we hit Totteridge Village, where we've got the main high street. We've got a load of shops on there, an abundance of restaurants and bars, and it even has its own everyman cinema. On top of that, super convenient. We're very close to London. It actually has its own underground station, which can get you to Euston in 20 minutes, which is pretty incredible. And you may have noticed just out the front of the property, we have all of those super long ponds. So yeah, super good place to have a home. All right, guys, hope you have enjoyed this video. I know we did, exploring around the grounds of this property. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I feel a little bit wobbly. <laughs> <laughs>